facts about Opokuware School. Welcome to Monkey Desert. But before we start, please tell us about your school's status in the comments section below. We like to hear about them. And hey, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel if you like to get similar videos like this. Opokuware School, often referred to as OAS, is an all-boys high school in Santasi, a suburb of Kimasi, which is the capital of the Ashanti region of Ghana. It was established in 1952, as one of the five Catholic schools in Ghana that year. The school was named after Asante King Opokuwe I. It is located in Santasi, along the Kimasi Abuasi Road. The patron saint of the school is Saint Thomas Aquinas. The motto of the school is Deus Lux Scientia, meaning God is the light of knowledge. The school is governed by a board, who appoints a headmaster. It has ten houses, each headed by a housemaster, selected from the senior members of the teaching staff. Every year an overwhelming number of the school's students qualify for admission into the various universities in Ghana and the world over. The current headmaster, Father Stephen Oyusisekaiye is a member of the Conference of Heads of Assisted Senior Secondary Schools, CHAS, in Ghana. OAS today is a much larger than its inception. In 1952, the school began with 60 boys and this number has significantly risen to over 3,000 boys presently. Establishment. OAS opened its doors on the 28th of February 1952 to 60 young boys to the school, originally called Yar Asantwai College. Two weeks after the school opened, the name was changed to Opokuware School following consultations with and instructions from the Manchla Palace. This was to honor one of the most illustrious Asante kings, who in May 1744 approached the Roman Catholic mission at the Elmina Castle to educate Asante youth. Katashil Riopokuerai, ruled Asantman between 1720 and 1750. A past student of the school is known as Katashil Ri, conquering hero, the title by which Nana Opokuerai was known, principally for the expansionist drive of Asantman's frontiers, and for which he became famously known. The late Reverend Fr. Burgess, an Oxford University graduate, was the first headmaster of the school. He was the son of an Irish draper and a former major in the British Army. He was a polyglot and spoke Italian and French fluently. He also spoke Aramaic. The boys spent their first night at Street Paul's house, the only dormitory in what was a desolate clearing. Two small rooms next to that house served as their dining hall, their assembly hall and their classroom. Expansion. By 1955, the school had five dormitories, St. Paul, St. Matthew, St. Mark, St. Luke and St. John, ten classrooms, three science laboratories, an administration block, dining hall, kitchen, library, and 17 staff bungalows. There were 450 students attending the school. A sixth form was established in 1958 to provide courses in both the arts and sciences. A cadet corps was formed in 1960. Presently, the boys are housed in 10 houses. There are over 74 classrooms, 6 science laboratories, 2 libraries, a science resource center, computer center, language laboratory, and French and German languages teaching centers. There are 36 staff bungalows, a block of eight flats and quarters for junior administrative staff, cooks, and pantry boys. There is also a staff canteen, a chapel, a dining hall, and a sick bay. Boarding houses. There are ten houses named after various saints in the Catholic faith. They are Street John, St. Matthew, St. Mark, St. Luke, St. Paul, St. Peter, St. James. St. Andrews, St. Philip and St. Thomas. The idea of sustainability was incorporated not only in the architecture of the houses but most buildings in the school. Each of the houses as well as most of the staff bungalow has an underground well which provides water for the boys when there is shortage of water. Each house has a special set of numbers it accepts. House structure. In addition to the house master, each house has a house prefect and an assistant who are chosen from the oldest 
last year. There are house gatherings once a week and usually happens in the morning before classes. The housemaster and boys have an opportunity to make announcements during house meetings. The boys get the opportunity to voice the views and express grievances. Each house participates in weekly morning mass at the school chapel on rotational basis. Many entire house competitions occur mostly in the field of sport. For much of the school's history, first-year boys have to act as servants. To older boys, their duties mostly includes cleaning and running errands. Notable alumni Professor Kwamana Ahoy, former NDC Minister of State, Akwa Siapaya the former head coach of the Ghana Black Stars, Justice Stephen Allen Broby, retired jurist former Chief Justice of the Gambia and Justice of the Supreme Court of Ghana Dr. Jacob Kwakimafo, physician, surgeon and CEO of West End Clinic, Kimasi Dr. Anthony Akoto Ozai, former Finance Minister and current MP for Old Tafo Jacob Ozai Oboa, Politician Awards, Opokuwe School won Global Innovative Award at the World Robotics Championship held in Michigan. The event held in Detroit, Michigan was on May 17 and 18, 2018 and the school is the only Ghanaian school to represent. The elite Kimasi-based senior high school beat high schools from all over the world including Pakistan, India, China, Europe and the United States who are host of the finals. Emerging champions, OAS, as they are called are expected to bring the trophy to Africa, Ghana in addition to the many individual trophies they won at the event. The OAS robotic team at the World Robotic Competition in Detroit, Michigan comprised five students and a coach as well as a contingent of passionate old boys in the U.S. The Akatashilri USA, a group of old boys of the school in the U.S. supported the young team by paying for the cost of accommodation, about $1,500, and food for the team during the competition as well as raising an additional $1,600 to cover the airfare for the coach. Opokuwe School emerged the overall winner of the third edition of the annual Independence Day Quiz on Cancers. The event was organized and sponsored by the Breast Care International BCI, and the Ashanti Regional Coordinating Council under the auspices of the Ghana Education Service. The quiz which was initiated three years ago by the Ashanti Regional Coordinating Council in collaboration with BCI has been incorporated into the activities to mark Ghana's Independence Day celebrations annually. The school has won the science quiz twice and have been runners-up more than five times. It has also been runners-up in the 1995. Opokuwe School is among the best schools in Ghana. This brings to the end of today's video and thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you like to get similar videos